think I'm going to go ahead and call. Uh, hey. Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for being on the show this evening. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for, for having me. So, uh, well, right into it. Um, How did you get started into music? Um, I always been in music. So, you know, like anybody, chorus, band, um, I learned um, how to play clarinet, flute, saxophone. I taught myself guitar, piano lessons. Um, I took up tuba my senior year of high school, and then in high school I started uh, going out with a friend and doing craft houses. And in college I did open mic, and then I took a little bit of a break, and then I started professionally um, going out and singing and playing songs and professionally recording when I was about, uh, you know, two years ago. Actually, soon it'll be one year that I first stepped foot in the studio. Pretty cool. Okay, you, you, you get into the swing of things apparently. So you know. Yeah. Get into the swing of things. Uh, so who do you consider like musical influencers, uh, whether it's independent or mainstream? Who who inspired you into doing music? Um, to to who inspired me to go professional? Um, there would there were a lot of open mics that were happening around the area where I live and um, I had a friend who was running one um, and he asked put it on. I went and I set up my tape of songs printed out in my music stand and I um, you know would try to play there and then we wound up traveling all over um, you know um, the east everywhere open mic and he was booking shit. And I just walked into a bar playing the band leader said would you have any requests and I said yeah let me sing and he was like oh. and then the the bartender there was like would you want to do a gig and a show and I'm like, yeah sure how, you know how long and she goes four hours I was like oh my god all right I think I could try to pull that together in a couple months together kind of a show it's been um ever since then years ago it's been pretty cool and then um so that that one very special friend that uh helped me get into it professionally i played a song of yours earlier uh the song that i played is called one hide uh it was a acoustic, oh cool it was an acoustic version um yeah talk about writing that song and uh what's it all about so that song was a song that I wrote in high school with that one friend that we would go around doing coffee houses, and she wrote that about one of her girlfriends and a uh, situation that she was going through with, um, and uh, I helped her with harmony, and um, I found a whole recording of it, and I brought it back to life, and revamped it, and uh, switched it up, and changed changed the chords a little bit, and um, you know moved around the lyrics and I it, it, it's still a pretty good song a couple of them that I do like maybe two or three that are from that time period that I do now that are it's cool to go back and and see that so a lot of girls um, I think a lot of girls and you know, people just get themselves relationships. relationships can definitely be a test obviously if you oh yeah, yeah. relationships significant others definitely takes a lot of trust that to happen and being mm -hmm. willing to well some bad habits here and there so it's uh, right. it's it ain't for everybody so <laughs> pretty much yeah uh, yeah um so of course you are part of nashville entertainment weekly um they promote you um, they do PR work for a lot of artists like yourselves, and uh, um, they they are some people. Jill, shout out to her. Um, how did you link up with them? You, did you reach out to them, or was it vice versa? Jill's amazing. No, I uh, so I submitted my songs to independent radio stations around the world, and uh, a lot of them were picking them up. So pretty much in every country they play my one song move on and one of the djs that were here in um where i live in new york submitted my song or was friends with them spoke with them and um he said uh, i have call. here's their information if you want to talk to them 
you know, see a few guys can work together. And they were really excited to have me on. And it it was it was from that one DJ, uh, Josh, from um, Country Storm over here. So thanks to him. One thing I noticed for them is they do have a lot of connections. And their clients, like yourselves, get their music heard in a variety of radios. So they... Yes. When, 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 they, when they are that when they are that invested into their artists, they're going on in. Like every other day, I, I be on the internet, on Facebook, scrolling down, and I see a Nashville Entertainment Weekly post almost every day. Almost they every are, day. Yep, they are really good. And, and that's why I said yes, it's because, um, you know, promoting and, and being able to have the connections with those radio stations, that's something that I lack. You know, I could write a song and put up the best song in the world, but if I'm just singing it to myself in the basement, it's not going to do any good for anybody. <laughs> I thank them so much for that. They're doing a wonderful job. With this, with the circumstances that we are all in, pretty much all music artists not being able to perform in front of an audience, um, very limited in that regard. Um, right. So... How are you holding along? How are you feeling health-wise? Like, how are you handling everything with all that's going on right now? I'm doing all right. You know, we're hanging in there. Everybody's healthy, and we're trying to stay active and do as we can, you know, inside as much as we can. We had to go, and then it was fun, and uh, we're doing a lot of bike riding. <laughs> But uh, everybody's okay up here. The shows that were canceled, you know, I, I kind of figured, well, for every show that's canceled, I might make a couple of fans. So on Facebook, I went, and you know, it has, you may know, if I had over 100 mutual friends, I'd add a couple a day. And I'm like, whatever, you know what? I think it's weird. They don't have to be back. But at least there's more, I have more people watching my videos. And um, there was a contest through um, Nickelode Ultra on Facebook that I entered um, for... Uh, cheer uh, for the for the beer um, and uh, on that, so that's pretty cool. So that, that's that's going to get me a lot more exposure. Even though I'm not out playing shows, I'm still making fans. So it's that, that's pretty much what it's all about: making fans. And I have a lot of time now to write music. <laughs> so there's there's definitely terrible terrible things going on. But as far as music goes, that's okay. Right now. I wish I could be making money at shows though meeting people. I, I totally understand. Totally understand. <laughs> uh, you know, it, I guess for the most part, everyone is safe. And uh, when, I guess when health is, uh, officials give the green light, then maybe we'll get back to things what it used to be. Might be some restrictions here and right. there. Can't be handshaking and touching, you know, a little pat on the shoulder or whatever, but um, yeah, but, you know, rubbing elbows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I had to do, I probably have to do like a a fist pump or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yep. So, where can people go um, do your music, and where can people check you out on social media? Well, they could check me out at uh, JennyAngelMusic.com. dot com. Um, the folks at Nashville Records made that for me, so that's pretty cool. You can check that website out. You can order a sweatshirt. Um, um, on that website, on my website, there are all links to every um, every social media platform where my music is available. So uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, um, uh, literally everything. I'm blanking. Uh, YouTube Music. Um, so, yeah, but that's my one song, Move On. And then uh, the other two I released, Run and Hide, um, and... Uh, uh, with you by your bed. Those were just recordings in my basement. But move on, I did in the studio. And um, I have three cover songs that are going to be released in May with another band, which is pretty cool. Um, we did an Americana. Well, they did an Americana album and asked me f to join on there. So that's that's going to be. I'm excited to hear that, and I can't wait to get to the studio and record my own album. So hopefully that'll happen soon. So go check out the website. Go and all the social media feeds is all, and you can also yeah. see where you can hear her music. So um, if you are financially able to um, go uh, stream the music, 
upload it, purchase it, uh, buy the merchandise if you are able to. Uh, Jenny, great chatting with you. Um, best, yes, thank best, you. Best of success and health goes out to you. And uh, yes, and, um, health to you too. Yeah, so um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks so much. 